In 1989, our first guest went on a fateful date with a charming Muslim immigrant from Kenya and had no idea that it would lead to her one day being First Lady of the United States. You can read all about her history-making life in this new memoir called Becoming. Please say hello to Michelle Obama. <laughs> You see how, <laughs> you see how much we miss you? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we really, where did you go? <laughs> we're, he, we're here. We're, just yeah. gonna, we're, we're in another house. Yeah. <laughs> we need you back in the old house. Well, there are other people living there. How is unemployment going? Are you embracing it? Yeah, it's yeah. going okay. And I was just trying to think of what we've been doing, but truthfully, we're boring. <laughs> you know, I, we have a teenager at home, mm -hmm. and she makes us feel inadequate every day. Nice. <laughs> so well, well, we, our, well, we our self-esteem is low. Can I tell you how we feel? <laughs> we feel like, do you remember the first Superman movie, Christopher Reeve? Yeah. When he gave up his powers to save Lois Lane's life, yeah. and then he was powerless, and yeah. then he got beat up in a diner, and yeah. then he had to get his powers back yes. to come save us from Lex Luthor? <laughs> That's what we need from what? you and your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's this thing called the Constitution. Oh, we've dispensed with that already, yeah, haven't right. we? <laughs> what is he doing right now? Like, right now, what is My he up husband? to? My husband? Yes. Oh, he's probably in his hole in our new house. In his office? Writing. He's working on his book. Can I tell you, when I was reading about... <laughs> You mentioning in your book that his mm -hmm. office is messy and disorganized. Okay, it gave yes. me license to have a messy and disorganized <laughs> office because my wife Was gets it upset. Like that before? Oh, it's a disaster. But now I feel like, well, yeah. Yeah, so the is, president. Yeah, the president does that yeah, too. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Clean well, up. It your seems office. to me, and <laughs> it's annoying. Are you sending I'm, a message for to your husband through me? No, is that I'm, it's, it's get your me? stuff together. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could, I really do. <laughs> it appears, based on social media, that you are really following Beyonce around the country, going to her concert. Yes. Is that what, it's what's an happening now? activity, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. Besides your husband and daughters, with which celebrity do you text most often? Ooh, um, you know, there's, I, I'm not gonna tell you because oh, really? then, you know, it's like you don't text and tell. That's not a thing. I started That's to not, do you that. just made that up. <laughs> it depends on what's going on lately because uh -huh. Oprah kicked off uh, the right. book tour and she was an early reader. I've been doing a lot of texting. Gail is a worrier, so a lot of times she'll call like, what the... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so Oprah it, and Gail, that's Oprah pretty Gail, solid. Th those two. <laughs> You said Barack is working on his book right now. Did yeah. you guys ever have a situation where you fight over an anecdote? Like, it's like, I wanted that for my book. You know, I, since my book was first, he's, he lost he, on So all you of get that. first dibs on all that. On all the good stuff. And would it cause a rift in your relationship if Oprah doesn't put his book in her book club because she did it with yours? It might hurt his feelings, but he'll get over it. <laughs> The book is number one on Amazon. That's got to be know. an exciting thing for you. Yeah. By a, a lot, I would imagine. Was it fun to write the book? It, it was more fun than I thought. Um, because here's the thing. Rarely does anybody get time and they get paid to reflect. Right, and, that's and true. Re and reflecting, I find, is, is very important. Um, because the truth is, is that... For the last decade, there was no time to even really think about what just happened to us. You know, a di I write about the fact that, you know, the week would start, something amazing would happen, 
And then by the end of the week, I would have forgotten all about that other amazing thing. I mean, our days were full. We were, we were just inundated. So coming out of the White House, it, you needed that time to take stock and say, what just happened? What was that? Um, yeah. And this book allowed me to do that and to really understand what those eight years meant to me personally and how it fit into the context of the rest of my life. Yeah. So that was something I needed. It was therapeutic for me. And such a big part of your, your family, your daughters being yeah, so yeah. young when... How old were your daughters on the day you, they you were, started living in the White House? They were 7 and 10, and I hope I get that right, because that's... <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but they, li they lived in the White House longer than they lived in any house that we lived in. Your mom moved in, mm -hmm. lived there the whole eight years with you. Reluctantly, but Reluctantly. She, she stayed. <laughs> She, she tried stay. to get out. It's like, nope, <laughs> lock the door. And what year in. did she try to get out? How far in? Oh, you know, she felt like by the time she wasn't taking the girls to school every day, they were both in middle school, she thought, I can go, right? And I was like, nope, not yet. You stay here. <laughs> you stay here. So we'd let her go home in the summer. <laughs> it's like, you can have a summer break, but you got to come back. And I would call her. It's like, you're coming back, right? <laughs> She... If and when Sasha or Malia become president of the United oh, States. Oh, God, that will never happen. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say never. I can <laughs> say never with those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would not move in with them, or would you move in with them to help them? I would. You have to now. Well, if they had kids. I yeah, mean, well, that's sure. the only. My mother wasn't helping me. She was helping her grandchildren. Gotcha. So, yeah. I understand. I, I, I would, because they would need the help. Did Bo the White House dog know he was the White House dog? You know, he acted like he did. Mm -hmm. He's an odd... <laughs> he's an odd dog, because... And Barack, you know, he, he criticizes Bo a little bit because he is <laughs> odd. Um, he has an aloofness to him. It's uh -huh. almost sort of like, don't touch me. <laughs> I am a beau. Don't you know who I am? I mean, he would prance around the White House. He had a schedule. Both the dogs did. They would get picked An up. An official in the schedule? Yeah, I would do uh, briefing requests for them. Um, they, I, they had to get my permission, but I would find, you know, in my briefing book, it would be mm -hmm. Can Bo and Sonny stop by this press event at 2 30? <laughs> no, there would be a time. <laughs> and I had to approve of it. Um, so they'd get picked up and they'd hang out with the gardeners for the day. And uh -huh. they were very, like, when they were home, I, they were mommy's dogs. But if they were working with the fellas, they would ignore me. It's just sort of like, don't, my, don't touch me. I'm at work. I'm busy. One of the most interesting things I learned from your book is that the present first lady family, you have to pay for your food yeah. while you're in the White House. Go figure. I, that's yeah. crazy to me. Well, you know... It is, and it isn't. It's crazy because you don't know it, and most people don't know what it's like to live in the White House. So, you know, only 45 families have done it. Yeah. Um, but, truth, the rent is free, staff is free. You know, we, we shouldn't be mooching off of the taxpayers. So but, you're okay with that? Yeah, but it's a little shocking because nobody really tells you this stuff. And yeah. then they let you get whatever you want. Um, like, if you say you want some exotic fruit, yes, ma'am, we'll get that right away. And then you get the bill for a peach. <laughs> And it's like, that was a $500 peach. <laughs> you know, I would tell Barack, Barack, do not express pleasure for anything until I, unless I know how much it costs. Wow. <laughs> so they're very responsive at your expense. Uh, yeah. So, well, yeah. Just... But I, in all fairness, it's like the taxpayers should, you know, if we want a certain kind of jam in the, uh, or jelly, we should pay for that. Yeah, but um, if you're going smuckers, it should be free. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button, so please click now. I'm hungry.